Okay guys, today we are going to cover the place value of decimal numbers. So let's go ahead and get started. Now what is a decimal? A decimal is a dot that falls between a whole number and a fractional part. So if I have this number right here, this now becomes a decimal number because I added a decimal into it. Now what we're going to talk about today is how to read those decimal numbers. In our last lesson we talked about how to read the whole numbers. So let's talk about decimal numbers. When you're dealing with a decimal, in fifth grade we have three spots that fall after that decimal. What we need to do is we need to, we need to learn the names of those three spots. So the name of the first spot is the tenths. The name of the second spot is the hundredths. And the name of the third spot is the thousandths. If you noticed, when I said and wrote all of these, they all end in a THS. That's how you know that it is a decimal word. So if you are talking about a decimal number, you must say the tenths, the hundredths, or the thousandths. So when we talked about reading whole numbers, we said that whenever you got to a comma, you had to read the last name of every single family. Well, decimals are kind of the same way. If I were to write this decimal 386, how would I read that? Well, the first thing you do is you look at the entire number that comes after the decimal. The entire number that comes after the decimal is 386. So I say 386, and then I look at the spot that that 386 falls in. That, three, that 6 falls in the thousandths. So the way I would read that would be 386 thousandths. If I was to take that 6 off, I now see that my decimal number stops in what place value? It stops in the hundredths. So if I were to read that number, it would be 38 hundredths. And if I were to take away that 8, and now I notice that I only fill up to the tenths spot. So in reading that decimal, that would be 3 tenths. Now, what do we do when we throw a whole number in the mix with the decimal? So if I had the number right here, if I had that number, well, you read it. You read the first number first. You read the whole number first. That number is 12. Whenever you get to a decimal, you say and. You have to say the word and whenever you get to a decimal. So I would read this as 12 and 304 thousandths because it falls in the thousandths place value. If I took that 3 out and put a 0 there and I were to read this number, it would be 12 and, and then I look at that number after the decimal, the number after the decimal is a 4 and it lands in the thousandths. So it's 12 and 4 thousandths. Now another way to remember which place value is which, because sometimes it becomes a little difficult to remember that the first one is the tenths, the second one is the hundredths, and the third one is the thousandths. And I learned a great thing that Schultz, Ele Schultz uh, Junior High is going to teach, and that is to say that whenever you get to a decimal, you have a decimal and you have those three spots after. An easy way to remember it, let me write that again, decimal and three spots after is when you get to a decimal, you hit it, and you say, boom, Tom heard thunder. So if you were trying to remember what place value it was, you would say, boom, Tom heard thunder. And when you see those, the reason it's Tom heard thunder is because the T in Tom stands for the tenths, the H in heard stands for the hundredths, and the TH in thunder stands for the thousandths. So that will hopefully help you recognize the number a little more. So let's do one example, one more example. Let's do 3, 4, 8, 6. So if I were to read this number, I read the whole number first. My whole number is 3,486. I read the decimal as and, and then I read this entire number at the end. That entire number is 21. Now that 21 falls in one, two, three spots. So if I do my boom, Tom heard thunder, I know that that one stops in the thousandths. 
So that is 3,486 and 21 thousandths. Let's do one more. How would I read this number? I would read it as 600 and 4 tenths because there's only one spot after the decimal that it fills up. And I say, boom, Tom. Well, the T stands for tenths. So it is 604 tenths. The only other thing you're going to need to be able to do is if you're given a number like this and they ask you the value of the 8, you have to be able to identify certain place values of your decimal numbers. So if we were to identify the value of the 8, we would say that that 8 is 8, uh, I'm sorry, is not 8 tenths, it is 8 hundredths. Because when I look at my decimal, I have boom, tom, herd. That eight falls in the herd, so it would be eight hundredths. Okay, tomorrow, or tomorrow in class, we are going to look at some more of those decimals.